Hi everyone, welcome back to English with Max. Some time ago I made a video called Understand Fast English. This is part two. In this video we're going to look at some more very common English reductions. If you would like to watch part one, you can click on the card above or the link in the description. Being aware of reductions can make listening in English much easier. It can also help you improve your speaking. And speaking of improving your English, do you get sick of making the same mistakes when you speak or write in English? Or do you need to get a higher mark in an exam such as the IELTS? If the answer is yes, then you should definitely consider enrolling in my course Perfect Your English. The course looks at 55 common mistakes made by non-native English speakers. It also includes several quizzes so you can practice and never make these mistakes again. If you would like to receive my special discount or if you would like more information, you just need to click the link in the description box. As I said, today we're going to look at some very common reductions. In case you need a reminder, a reduction is when a sound in a word changes or disappears. People normally use lots of reductions when they speak English, particularly when they're speaking quickly. But before we start, please be aware that we don't reduce these words all the time. If we're emphasizing them or if we're speaking very slowly and clearly, normally we don't reduce them. Okay, let's look at the first one. The standard or strong form of this word is ah. That's the British pronunciation. We'll look at the American pronunciation in a moment. The reduced form or weak form of this word is just a. Uh. A. Uh. Yes, it's the schwa sound. These are the shoes I want. These are. These are. These are the shoes I want. Frank and George are very helpful. A very. A very. Frank and George are very helpful. Well, George certainly is. If the following word starts with a vowel sound, we normally pronounce the R, so it becomes er. Er. The shoes are over there. Er over. Er over. The shoes are over there. The bags are under the table. Er under. Er under. The bags are under the table. In American English, the strong form of this word is R. R. The weak form is er. Er. These are the shoes I want. These are. These are. These are the shoes I want. The second word is he. This is often reduced to E, so we drop the H. Is he going to help us? Is he? Is he? Is he going to help us? No, he won't. No, he. No, he. No, he won't. The third word is her. First, let's look at the British pronunciation. Her is often reduced to a. Uh. Yep, it's the schwa sound again, and you can drop the H. I've seen her today. Seen her. Seen her. I've seen her today. I'll tell her later. Tell her. Tell her. I'll tell her later. Not everybody drops the H. Some people say, huh. 
I've seen her today. Seen her. Seen her. I've seen her today. If the next word starts with a vowel sound, we usually pronounce the R. That's a rather cat. A rather. A rather. That's a rather cat. In American English, you always pronounce the R. So, her becomes er. I've seen her today. Seen her. Seen her. I've seen her today. I'll tell her later. Tell her. Tell her. I'll tell her later. The next word is him. This is often reduced to im. Im. Again, we drop the H. I'll tell him later. Tell him. Tell him. I'll tell him later. We went with him. With him. With him. We went with him. Number five. His. His is often reduced to is. Is. We drop the H again. That's his bag. That's his. That's his. That's his bag. Is that his jacket? That is. That is. Is that his jacket? Now we have them. Them is often reduced to them or even um. I met them yesterday. Met them. Met them. I met them yesterday. Or, I met them yesterday. Met them. Met them. I met them yesterday. I gave them to Frank. Gave them. Gave them. I gave them to Frank. Or, I gave them to Frank. Gave them. Gave them. I gave them to Frank. The next word is you. You is often reduced to y. Y. Are you working tomorrow? Are you? Are you? Are you working tomorrow? Do you know Ethel? Do you? Do you? Do you know Ethel? Finally, let's look at your and the contraction your. The strong forms are pronounced the same. Your and your. They're homophones. And the weak or reduced forms are also pronounced the same. This is another case where the British and American pronunciations are a bit different. Let's first look at the British pronunciation. Your and your are often reduced to y. Y. Is that your bag? Your bag? Your bag? Is that your bag? I think you're crazy. You're crazy. You're crazy. I think you're crazy. If the following word starts with a vowel sound, we pronounce the R. Is that your underwear? Your underwear? Your underwear? Is that your underwear? You're always smiling. You're always. You're always. You're always smiling. In American English, you always pronounce the R. So it's your. Your. Is that your bag? Your bag? Your bag? Is that your bag? I think you're crazy. You're crazy. You're crazy. I think you're crazy. 
Okay guys, that's it for today. Remember to hit the red subscribe button if you don't want to miss any new videos. And don't forget that you can also connect with me on social media. I regularly post short videos to Instagram and Facebook. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit the thumbs up and I'll see you soon. Bye. I've common... Oopsies. Him. Forget it.